Okay, good morning everybody and welcome to the English class. Okay. Today, the objective of this class that we will write, okay, a description. Today we will write a description of a monster. Okay? And first, let's start with the class, okay? We need to learn some vocabulary for this class. Okay? Let's watch this video, please about the new vocabulary we are going to use, okay? You know this song, so listen and sing. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. One more time. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, as you know, this song is about parts of the body. Okay, you know this song, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay, one more time. Okay, one more time. Listen, please, and sing. Okay, you know this song, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Okay, let's listen and sing. Okay. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. One more time. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, now please let's open the book. Okay, let's open the book. Young star, page 23. Okay, today we are going to learn about parts of the body. Okay, these parts of the body are important in our composition. Okay, in our writing. Listen and repeat. Okay, head, 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 eyes, 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 nose, nose. Nose, nose, mouth, 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 repeat, mm. please, repeat at home. Ears, 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 shoulder, 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 toes, 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 knee, knee. 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 Okay, remember, this is the vocabulary for this unit. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, remember, this is the song. Now, remember, eyes is because plural. Eyes, ears, plural. Toes, plural. Okay, this is knee, the plural is knees. Remember, head, Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, it's the song. Now, in your book, please, in your book, in the activity two, we are going to complete again. This is the song, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Okay, and we are going to complete, please. Okay, this is the song. Okay, I'm going to put you the song one more time. And you complete, okay, page 23 in your books. Okay, now listen again the song. 
listen one more time the song and complete with the parts of the body. Okay, let's listen. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. One more time. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, in your book is the same. In your book is the song. In the activity two, in the page 23, is the song. Head, shoulders, knees and knees and, okay. Head, Shoulder, knees and knees and 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 shoulders, knees and knees and okay, it's the sun. This is the song, okay? Now, very fast. If you want to participate, please help you raise your hand, please. Okay, raise your hand. help me to complete the song. This song. Okay, let's see. Fabricio, can you tell me what is the number two? Toes. 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 Thank you. Remember the pronunciation, okay? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. toes. Okay, good. Remember. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's continue with other parts of the body, okay? Leonardo, can you tell me, please, the number four? Yes, teacher. Eyes. Eyes. And eyes. Thank you. And eyes. Good. Okay. Fernanda, can you tell me number five? What is the number five? Ears. Ears. And ears. Good. Thank you. Another student, please, who wants to complete number six. And eyes and ears and. Hello, complete, no, no. Mouth and. Valentino, Valentino, what is this? What is Valentino? Mouth. Mouth, very good, mouth. Okay, mouth. Valentina Lopez, can you tell me the number seven? Seven, Valentina Lopez, seven. And eyes mouth. and ears and mouth and... Valentina. Valentina. Mouth. Valentina. Mouth. Mouth. One student is talking. Pay attention, please. Okay, other student. Fernanda Condor, can you tell me number seven? No. Nose, thank you. Nose. Nadine, can you tell me number eight? Head. Head, very good. Head, shoulders, knees, and Rihanna, can you tell me? Toes. Toes, knees, and toes. Okay, good. This is the song, okay? Now, at home, please, at home, let's sing, okay? This part, okay? The first part, this part. Okay, let's sing, okay? One, two, and three. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, okay? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth and nose, nose, okay? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, as you see, this is the song. Now, listen please. All the gears, all the gears, 
listen. Open your microphone, girls. Rihanna, Lucia, Adriana, Alexia, Angelina, Abril, Chiara, okay. Luciana, Nadine, all the girls, please. So, please, your microphone. Prendemos los micrófonos, todas las niñas, por favor. When the teacher says, one, two, three, we sing the song, okay? We sing the song. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And you continue, okay? Okay, gears? Now, only the gears, okay? Let's see. Gears. One, two, and three. Very good, Gears. What's good? One more time, okay, Gears? One more time. One more time, okay? One more time. One, two, and three. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. 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 Good. What's good, Gears? Thank you. Thank you. The microphone, please. The microphone. The microphone. Thank you, Gears. Thank you, Luciana. Very good, Abril. Valentina. Vanessa. Sorry. Good, Adriana. Ariana. Very good. Now, voice is your turn. Okay, the same. Open the microphone. When the teacher says one, two, and three, only the voice. We sing, okay? Come on, boys, open, open. Leonardo, open, okay? Sebastian, open. Ricardo, Paolo, Leonardo, again, Fabricio, Christopher, okay? Open, please, your microphones. Okay. Okay, boys, one, two, and three. Good, good, but one more time, boys, listen. It's not a competition. In the same... Everybody in the same, okay? Together, together, okay? Ya no sabemos la canción, no tengo por qué adelantarme, okay? With a group, together, okay? Not a competition, okay? One, boys, one more time. One more time, boys, please. One, two, and three. Santos, y Santos. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Very good, very good, boys. Thank you. Was a good job. Jose, thank you, Christopher, Leonardo, Fabricio, Paolo. Was good. Okay, Leonardo, good. Now, this is the song, remember the parts of the body, okay? It's important. We are going to use this vocabulary, okay? Let's continue with the book, please. Then we are going to work in the composition, okay? But let's continue with the book, okay? Let's continue page 24, please. 24 in your books, 24. And in this story, in this story, we are going to learn another, okay, body part, more body parts. This is the vocabulary in this time, okay? Repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Play. 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 Teeth. Teeth. Repeat, please. Teeth. Teeth. Feet. 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 Ankle. 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 
Stomach. 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 Okay, this is the vocabulary for this story. Remember, play. Teeth. Okay, teeth is dientes in plural. Plural, uh, this is plural. Teeth. Feet. Okay, it's in plural too. Okay, feet. The plural of foot. This is ankle. Don't confuse ankle with ankle. Okay? Uncle is your brother, the brother of your father, or the brother of your mother, your uncle, in the family members, uncle. This is ankle. Uncle, ankle. Remember, ankle is this part, okay? Tobillo, ankle. And a stomach. You know what's a stomach, okay? Obviously, the stomach. Okay, this is the vocabulary for this story. Let's work in the story, okay? The same. In this story, we are going to practice, we are going to practice, and we are going to answer questions with possessive. Okay? With this possessive. Pay attention. We, we learn about this possessive, no? Remember, her name is Kate. She has got a cat. Her cat is black. This is possessive. Kate's cat is black. Okay? The cat belongs to Kate. Okay, in the story, in the story, we are going to learn, we are going to use this possessive. Kate's cat is black. Richard's car is purple. Okay, remember in Spanish is el gato de Kate. Okay, el carro de Richard. Remember, this is possessive. Okay, now in the story, we are going to practice this possessive. Okay, this possessive. Now, let's watch the story to get some information, okay? Look, Ken, a ball. Whose ball is that? It's Sally's ball. It's new. Let's play. Later. Let's fly my new kite. Okay. Where's Kate? I'm here. Oh no. Are you okay? My ankle. Can you walk? Yes, I can. Don't worry. Look. What's that? Oh, it has got big ears. Is it a monster, Sally? I don't know. It has got big teeth too. I'm scared. What is it? Let's go home. Shh. Listen. It isn't a monster. It's a small cat. Oh, it's cute. Whose cat is this? It's my cat, Mittens. Listen, it's her stomach. She's hungry. Okay, as you see in the story, let's listen one more time. Let's watch the story one more time to answer some questions, okay? For example, Whose ball is this? Whose kite is this? Okay. What did they see? Okay. Whose cat is this? At the last of the story. Let's watch one more time to get this information. Okay. Let's watch. Was the cat hungry? Okay. Let's listen. Let's watch one more time. Look, Jen, a ball. Whose ball is that? It's Sally's ball. It's new. Let's play. Later. Let's fly my new kite. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm here. 
Oh no! Are you okay? My ankle. Can you walk? Yes, I can. Don't worry. Look, what's that? Oh, it has got big ears. Is it a monster, Sally? I don't know. It has got big teeth too. I'm scared. What is it? Let's go home. Shh. Listen. It isn't a monster. Look, it's a small cat. Oh, it's cute. Whose cat is this? It's my cat, Mittens. Listen, it's her stomach. She's hungry. Okay, now please, let's answer some questions, okay? Some comprehension questions about the story. Let's see. Raise your hand, please, if you want to participate, okay? Now, Rihanna, please. Rihanna, whose ball is this? Is Kate ball? It's Kate's ball. Let's see. Yes, it's here. No, it's Kate's ball. No, yes Sally. or no? It's Sally. Sally's ball. Remember, it's Sally's. She is Sally. Okay, Sally Kate. Is here. It's Sally's ball. Okay. Remember, you can read the story in your books, okay? You can read the story in your books too. Now, let's continue, okay? Picture two. Question, Lucia, whose kite is this? Mm, whose kite is this? Mm, this um it's Sally's kite Kate kite or Jane Jane kite mm. we need to read you it, can it's Jane it's Jane's, okay? Remember, in the story, we have three girls. Sally, Kate, and Jane, okay? If you read the story, if you read the story, they mention the names of these girls. Whose ball is this? It's Sally's. Sally's, remember. Whose kite is this? It's Jane's. You remember that this possessive, this possessive, remember this. Whose car is this? It's Richard's. Whose cat is this? It's Kate's. Okay, remember the possessive, this possessive, Richard's. Okay, now, whose kite is this? It's Jens. Okay, let's continue. Fabricio, Guerra, look at this picture, picture three. What is the problem with Kate? Her stomach? Her head? Her eyes? Um, ankle? Her ankle, good. Her ankle is the problem, yes? She yes, had teacher. a problem with her ankle. Thank yes, you. Yes, teacher, yes. Thank you, good. Now, in picture four and picture five, now, Alexia, can you help me, Alexia? Listen, look at the picture four and picture five. Look at this, the shadow, this. Is it a monster? No, it isn't, okay? The question is, is it a monster? No, it isn't. Okay, good. Now it isn't good. Now let's see. 
Let's continue the same. Another question, okay? Angelina, Angelina, listen. Look at the picture of the gear. Are they scared? Yes, there is. Thank you, thank you, good. Are they scared? Yes, they are. Okay, are they scared? Yes, they are. Good. The same, now look at, they think it's a monster. But at the end, Abril, Abril, can you tell me what animal is? It's not a monster. What animal is, is it? What? Animal, uh, what, uh, Lucia, uh, so where is Abril Palomino? At the end, what animal the gears see? Un cat. One cat, okay, one, one, remember, one in English, one, two, three, one cat, good. Another student, let's see, Chiara, Chiara, can you tell me the name of the cat? What's the name of the cat? Chiara, no. Let's see, Jose Carlos Lavado. Jose Carlos, what's the name of the cat? No, Jose Carlos. Leonardo, Leonardo Rojas, what's the name of the cat? Uh, mittens. Mittens, thank you. Mittens is its name. Okay, mittens. Now, Next question, okay? Next question. Let's see. Manuel Rodrigo. Manuel no, Aliaga. Manuel. No, no me cat is this? Mi, mano con, mi audio cuando me llamaste. Okay, okay, Jose Carlos. For the next time, okay? Manuel, please. Manuel. Sí, profesor. Whose cat is this? Uh, no lo entendí bien. ¿Cómo me dijo? Es que por aquí la red es un poquito mal y se escucha en recortado. Whose cat is this? Whose cat is this? Um, it's brown? Alice's cat. It's Kate's cat. It's Jens. Okay, Soe, please. Soe, listen. Soe, whose cat is this? My teacher. It's is Sally. But in English, so I please in English, como digo, es el gato de Sally. It's the cat is Sally. It's Sally's cat. Remember this. Remember Sally's. Remember it's this. Cat. Sally's cat. Okay? The possessive. Sally's cat. El gato de Sally. Okay? Remember the possessive. It's Thank you. Thank you, Lucia. Thank you, Zoe. This is a nice cat. And at the end, the cat was hungry. Okay? Now, in your books, please, in your books, let's complete this sentence with yes or no. Okay? Only yes or no. You read a sentence and tell me if it's yes or no. Okay? Let's see. Sayet. Sayet, can you read the number one? Sayed, can you read the number one? Mm, okay. Vanessa Macedo, Vanessa, can you tell me the number one? No puede ser número uno. Número uno. Vanessa, only read the sentence. And tell me yes or no. Vanessa, the ball is Jens. Jens, is the ball Jens? Yes or no, Vanessa? Okay, Valentina, tell me, Valentina. Can you repeat, please? The ball is James. No. 
No, thank you. Very good. Is Sally's voice okay? Thank you. Good. Remember, read the sentence when you finish. Yes or no? Okay. Now let's see other students. Okay, Christopher. Christopher Camilo. Go ahead. The number two, please read. Hey, podía caminar. No, in English, in English. Ah, read. okay. Can walk. Look at the pictures. Look at the sentence. Sí. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes, she can. Okay. She can walk. Yes. Thank you. Another student for the number three. Let's see. Paolo. Paolo Benito. Paolo. Read a sentence three and tell me. Yes or no? Read. Yes. Yes. The gears are scared. Yes. Okay. Because the gears, in her opinion, in their opinion, was a monster. No? Okay. Four. Let's work with the number four. Ricardo Cardenas. Can you read the number four, please? Ricardo, please, can you read number four? Yes. No? Oh, you're still in, okay. Let's see. Okay, Chiara, please. Chiara, number four. Mittens is thirsty. No. No, very good. Yes, very good. Mittens is hungry, no? Good. As you see, this is complete place in your books. Now we are going to work in the composition, okay? The objective of this class is work in the composition. I finish. Okay, but wait, wait, Manuel, please listen. Listen, please. For this composition, we are going to use all the vocabulary we learn. All, all the vocabulary. Okay? So let's start with a family tree. Let's make a revision, okay? Because we are going to use the vocabulary in the class one, in the class two, okay? All the vocabulary. At home, let's listen the song and sing. Okay, let's sing this. Okay? Two, listen, read, and sing. My family tree. This is my mum and this is my dad. I've got a cousin, an uncle, and an aunt. My name is Drew. I love my family. What about you? What about you? Let's continue. Let's sing. This is my daughter and this is my son. They are my stars. They're number one. My name is Sue. I love my family. What about you? What about you? I am Grandad and I am old. My granddaughter is pretty and my grandson is tall. My name is Stu. I love my family. What about you? What about you? Okay, from the song, pay attention. This is, this is, okay. This is my mom. This is my daughter. Remember, 
my name, okay? Remember these words, okay? We learned this in the first class. Remember the verb has got, remember? He's got an uncle or he has got an uncle, remember? Or she's got an uncle or she has got an uncle, okay? Remember this verb has got, okay? Then we learn about appearance, this. This vocabulary we are going to use in the description of the monster, okay? Repeat, please, at home, okay? Repeat, a straight hair, fair hair, curly hair, mustache, repeat, please, at home, beard, freckles, okay? Remember this, straight hair, fair hair, curly hair, mustache, beard, freckles, okay? Then we learn about clothes, okay? We learn about clothes. Repeat, please, handbag, handbag, watch, watch, t-shirt, t-shirt, coat, coat, jeans, jeans, skirt, skirt, dress, okay, dress, shoes, shoes, and boots, boots, okay? And remember, when we talk about colors, the color is first, no? Yellow t-shirt, green shoes, remember, in English is different, purple boots, funny bag, okay? Brown boots, remember. Pink coat, in English is different, okay? Then remember please the possessive, okay? The possessive, remember? Blue t-shirt. My, my name, remember, my. His, remember, is for boys. And her is the possessive for girls. Okay, remember, huh? his and her. Okay, now let's continue. In this description, we are going to use all the vocabulary we learn. Also this, we are going to talk about this. Okay, that's the parts of the body. Remember, we are going to use this vocabulary in our description. Okay, listen and repeat, okay? Listen and repeat. Head. Head. Eyes. Eyes. Nose. Nose. Mouth. Mouth. Repeat, please. Ears. Ears. Shoulder. Shoulder. Toes. Toes. Knee. Knee. One more time, okay? Let's listen the song of this song. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes, and let's see, okay? Listen the song, okay? And sing at home. One more time, okay? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. One more time. One more time. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, now let's work in the description, okay? Now pay attention, please. Pay attention now. We are going to write, we are going to make the description of a monster, okay? This is an example, okay? This is an example, pay attention. First, number one, you are going to draw in a paper, draw a monster, okay? Remember, 
we need to describe this monster. So you need to draw the vocabulary we learn. T-shirt, jeans, shoes. Okay, if you prefer a watch. Okay, you are going to draw. Okay, draw. You are going to draw. You know what is draw? Dibujar. When you finish draw, color the monster. You paint the monster. Okay? When you color and paint and you finish, then we are going to describe. And this is the model. This is my monster. His name is Aldo. He is tall and young. Okay, let's continue to describe. Listen. He has got three eyes. One, two, three. He has got three eyes and two ears. One and two. Two ears. And a big mouth. You see? And a big mouth. Let's continue describing the picture. He has got, he has got two arms, two, and two legs. You see? Let's continue describe. His t-shirt, his t-shirt is red and yellow. Okay, you can just like this. Profe, ya he creado mi monstruo. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's continue with the description. Pay attention, please pay attention. Let's continue with the description. His jeans are blue, you see? Because in your picture that you draw, you color the jeans blue. That's why his jeans are blue, okay? Let's continue. His shoes are white and blue, you see? You are going to draw monster, color the monster, then describe the monster. A description. Okay, let's see other example. Okay, this is another vocabulary we are going to use, but let's see another example. Okay, now look at here. Look at here, please. Okay, for example, you need to use the vocabulary, yeah? remember the vocabulary. For example, the teacher wants to draw this monster at this, no? Oh, come on. What is here? Okay, let's continue, okay? Profe, una pregunta. Wait, wait, wait. This is another example. Pay attention to this example, then questions, okay? Pay attention. This is my monster. Her name is Tina. In this case, it's a, a female monster, okay, Tina, her, I use her. She is short. She has got one eye and one big mouth, you see. Let's continue the description. She has got four arms, four, you see, four. She has got freckles, okay. As you see, this is another example of a monster, of a description of a monster. Now, questions, please. Okay, you have question? Profe, la description en, acá que dice, she has got on and on big mode, no se entiende. Oh, there is a mistake, no? There's a mistake here. One, the pronunciation is one, okay? It's one, it's not on. One, you know the numbers? Numbers, one, two, three, four, five, you know the numbers. She has got, okay, one eye and one big mouth, you see? This is one, this is a number. She has got four arms, one, two, three, four, you see? Two legs, one and two legs, you see? We need to describe the picture, the monster. Ok. En CNN se te ha enviado un formato parecido a esto. No es necesario imprimirlo. Si no, si no lo lograste imprimir, lo puedes hacer en una hoja. Ok. En una hoja bon. 
en una hoja cuadriculada, en tu cuaderno, no hay ningún problema. Lo puedes hacer en un archivo de Word, si deseas. Lo que a ti te resulte más fácil. ¿Ok? Now, we are going to start, please, with a description. ¿Ok? Now, te voy a dar 10 minutos, 10 minutos, 10. Think, use your imagination and draw a monster and color the monster. ¿Ok? 10 minutos for that, ¿ok? Pero, profe, yo ya terminé y ya coloreé mi monstruo. ¿Ok? Sí. Esto es para hacerlo en, aquí, ¿ok? Aquí tenemos que hacerlo juntos todos. Profe, eh, ¿Eh? tenemos que hacerlo en el cuaderno. Yes, it's ok, en la notebook. ¿Le ponemos Cat Young Monster? No, this no, this part no. Ya está. ¿Podemos imprimirlo lo que envió o lo, o lo a, podemos... a ver, de nuevo, de nuevo, escúcheme. Si, lo tienes, si tienes impresora y tienes esa facilidad, tienes 10 minutos para buscar un monstruo y lo imprimes. Después lo vas a describir. Si no tienes esa facilidad, draw, ¿ok? You need to draw a monster. Have 10 minutes. Draw the monster sure. and color the monster. Okay, if you finish, good. Wait, please. Okay, wait. For the rest, for the rest of the students. Draw, please, draw a monster. Use your imagination. If you prefer four arms, four arms. You prefer a tall monster. Profesor, ¿no hacemos en el cuaderno? Yes, yes, in the notebook. Okay, in the notebook. You have eight, nine minutes, please, to finish the drawing, okay? The picture. The monster. ¿Y si tenés impresora? Por eso, ya se les dijo qué vas a hacer si tienes impresora. Pero si no puedes usar la impresora y no tienes ayuda en casita, dibujas. Okay. ¡Profesor! Yes. Profesor, yo ya lo tengo imprimido todo, todo. Oh. Ok, Luciana. Se dice impreso. Luciana, listen. If you have the picture, good. Now describe the picture, okay? Describe. Using the vocabulary. All the vocabulary we use. The grammar we use. Has got. The possessive. My. His. Or her. Okay? Use the possessive. Okay? Yo te recomiendo que describas al monstruo usando lo que hemos aprendido todo lo que hemos aprendido, ¿ok? Porque después me vas a enviar también un audio de esto, leyendo esto. Si tú vas a poner palabras que no conoces, que no aparecen en el libro, y no las vas a poder leer bien, va a bajar tu nota, ¿ok? La idea es que utilicemos todo lo que sabemos, no usar el internet simplemente para copiar mi trabajo, ¿ya? Todas las palabras que tú ves aquí, todas, tú las has visto en tu libro, ¿Ok? Y eso es lo que te quiero evaluar. Yo. Que sepas usar todo lo que hemos visto. Tall, Jan, eyes, mouth, has got, this is, ¿ok? His, the possessive, clothes, t-shirt, jeans, shoes, coat, watch, ¿ok? If you can add in the in your monster a mustache, excellent. A beard, excellent. A straight hair, good. Curly hair in your monster, curly hair, good. Okay. ¿Qué puedo describir imagination. a mi monstruo? Manuel, you have the picture. Okay, now describe your monster, please. Describe. This is my monster. His name is Rick. He's tall. He has got nine eyes and four ears and big mouth. He has got three legs. His t-shirt blue. His jeans mm, yellow. His shoe is white. Okay, Manuel, good. But listen, Manuel, pay attention, Manuel. 
¿Cuánto has dicho his jeans? Has dicho his jeans blue. His jeans mm. are blue. ¿Ok? Ah, pero se me ha olvidado. Lo mismo. His shoe. His shoe is singular. Shoe. One shoe. Is plural, you see? It's two. His shoes are, ok. Manuel, revisa lo que has descrito, revisa. Ok. Pay attention to these details, ok. And correct. Ya, a revisar and correct. Y lo voy a corregir. Yes, and correct, ok. Do it. Five minutes more, please, to finish your monster and color your monster, ok. Yes. ¿Alguna foto? O algo trabajando, o el trabajo en sí. Me vas a enviar the picture of the monster and the description. This, the two, in one paper. A photo, could be a photo, ok, no problem. Y también me vas a enviar un audio de leyendo todo esto que estás escribiendo. Ok. Esas dos cosas vamos a trabajar. Ok. Por eso yo te recomiendo que uses lo que, lo que hemos trabajado, lo que sabes usar, ¿ok? Shoulders, legs, mouth, big mouth, small mouth, big nose, small nose, ¿ok? You need to use your imagination, ¿ok? Use the vocabulary, all the vocabulary, ¿ok? ¿Y hasta cuándo tenemos para mí? Today, you, you finish today, listen. El tiempo que tenemos ahora es para que lo acabemos ahora. ¿Ok? This class. A lo mucho para que me lo envíes mañana. Porque se supone que hoy día vamos a terminar esto. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice cuernos? Quiero... My, my monster has cuernos. Ok, the same. I am going to help you. Ok. Te lo vamos a... Te lo vamos a enviar. Yes, when we finish the class, okay? And some students are going to read the description. Yes, okay, but first I need to work now, okay? In this time, we have time. In this time, we are going to work with the description, okay? This is not homework, huh? it's not homework. This is here in classes, okay? Profe. Yes, I mean. Este, yo no tengo su número de WhatsApp. Nadine, en, después de esta clase en la tarde, cuando cuelgue la clase grabada, ahí va a estar toda la información para que te envíes tus tareas. ¿Ok? Gracias, profe. Ok, let's continue, please. Let's work. Two, two minutes, please. Finish color your monster, ¿ok? Color your monster. Two minutes to color. Remember, use jeans, coat, dress, skirt, shoes, boots, okay? This is short. Professor. Yes. Hey, ¿cómo se dice colmillos en inglés? Can you repeat, please? Can you repeat? Eh, ¿cómo se dice colmillos en inglés? Colmillo. Uh -huh. He has got it. Do you see in the story? In the story, in the story, we see tit, dientes, colmillos. This word is in the vocabulary in the story. Professor, ¿cómo, cómo se dice en inglés cuernos? La yeah, cuernos, yes. I'm going to help you, okay, with some vocabulary. But preference, use the vocabulary in the book, okay? Horn is, okay? Horn. But you need to specific, specify the number. One horn, two horns, three horns, okay? It's according to your picture, okay? One horn. If you say two, it's plural, horns. Okay? Use the vocabulary from the book, okay? From this unit. Yeah. Okay, now please, 10 minutes more. The teacher is going to give you 10 minutes for the description, okay? 10 minutes for the description. I suppose you finish 
the monster with a picture. Now it's time for the description. This is my monster, the same. His name is, okay, invent, create a name. And let's start with a description. 10 minutes, please, for the description, okay? If you need help, tell me, okay? Teacher, help me in this part, okay? You, I can help you, okay? But you need to tell you need to speak. Teacher, a mí solo me, so, me sobran tres líneas. Tengo que completar todas. Yes. In your description, please. In your description, you need to read. This is a monster. Very detailed, okay? Very detailed. It's short and big head. And... No, ¿cómo es colorido en inglés? Ok, that is colorful. Ok, colorful, it's like this, colorful. Ok, this is the adjective, colorful. He is colorful, she is colorful, ok. Or... His t-shirt is colorful, you can say. The other option. Okay. Profe. Luciana, tell me, Luciana, what's the problem? ¿Cómo se dice bueno en inglés? What? Bueno. Bueno. ¿Cómo te dice el profesor? Teacher, cuando I finished. Bueno? Cuando tú has hecho algo bien, ¿qué te dice el profesor? Eh, mm, I finished. Good job. Very good. Luciana, bueno is good. Okay. Good. I finished, teacher. Good. If you finish, it's okay. Okay. The description. You finish with the yes. description. <laughs> Profesor, ¿cómo le pongo she? ¿Puedo ponerle she has got fat o she is fat? Yeah, when we talk about adjective. Fernanda, when we talk about adjective, tall, young. With tall and young. ¿Qué uso con adjectives? Tall and young. She he is tall. He is, he is, he tall. is, he is okay. He is tall. He is young. He is pretty. He is fat. Okay, remember, he is short. With adjectives, we use is. Has got in Spanish is tiene. No puedo decir he has got fat. El tiene gordo, no puedo decir. He is fat. Okay, remember, when we use is, has got and the possessive, okay? His, remember. Okay, now, if you finish, please, who finished? Raise your hand. 
Raise your hand, please, if you finish, okay? Yo, Valentina Lopez. Okay, Valentina, pay attention, please, pay attention, listen. Valentino. We are Valentina. going to work. Ah, Valentina, sorry, Valentina. Listen. Now, if you finish, pay attention. If you finish, look at here, pay attention. If you finish, you are going to show me in the camera, in the camera, the picture of your monster. Okay, you show me the picture. And then you read the description. This is my monster. His name is Aldo. He is tall and young. He has got three eyes and two ears and a big Teacher, arm. This is my He has got two arms and legs. And you finish, okay? Description. The same. In the camera, Teacher. you make the presentation, okay? Valentino. Professor, Professor Poponer, she has got handbag. She has got handbag. Yes, she has got a handbag. She has got a purple handbag, if you call her. Okay. Now, Valentina Lopez, listen, Valentina, you make the presentation, okay? Read, please, the description. Teacher, how do you say spina in English? Wait, don't interrupt. This is my monster. Her name is Katie. Is is Tai Tor. He is as good as that for four eight and oh, one mouth. Her is good and pink, her so and red. Okay, hey, Valentina, thank you. Thank you. Now, Valentino, you finish, no, Valentino? Can you show me the camera, please? Thank you, Valentina. Yeah, the picture of the monster. Okay, good, good. Now, read, please, the description, Valentino. This is my monster. His name is Achilles. He has six arms and a long tongue. He has a green shirt. He has a red tie too. He has red shoes. Has, has blue skin and spins too. Okay, thank you. Now listen please, for the rest of students, listen. Uh, we need to, algunos necesitamos mejorar en pronunciación, ya, en algunas palabras. Sucede generalmente porque cuando se te dice repite, no repites, ¿ok? O cuando se te dice canta la canción, no la cantas. Por eso es que cuando te toca leer, eh, lees otras palabras, ¿ya? Es importante, es muy importante que you sing the songs, ¿ok? For example, we have this song, this song. And the teacher says, sing the song. It's important that you sing the song. Okay? If the teacher says, repeat the vocabulary, we need to repeat. It's important. Okay? The same with the possessive, no? The same. With any word, it's important that we Okay, that we repeat at home, that we sing at home. Okay, now, let's continue, please. Okay, let's continue. Let's see other students, okay? Who, who else finished, okay? The time is over, okay? The time is over. The time is over. Okay, now. Okay, now. 
the time is over. Let's see. Some students, please, are going to present using the camera, using the camera, the picture of the monster, and then the description. Okay. Chiara, please. Chiara, can you show us your monster, please? Teacher. In the camera, show us the, the, the monster, the picture. The, only the picture, only the picture. The rest, please pay attention. Look at the monster. Good. Thank you, Chiara. Thank you. Now, read the description, okay? Okay. This is my monster. His name is Tony. He is short. He is blue and green. His head has four eyes, four teeth, and big red mouth. His dumb has arms. He has two legs. Okay, thank you, Chera. Was nice. Was nice. Was good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yes, Massimo. Massimo. Massimo, yeah. turn, turn. In the camera, please, near, please, near. Más cerca, más cerca la, la imagen. Necesitamos ver, look, more, 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 more. Only the picture, only the picture. The description, no, the picture. Okay, good. Good. Now, please, Massimo, now read the description, okay? Okay. This is my monster. His name is Pazzi. Oh. The favorite food is brine and blood. He's live in Mars. He's two eyes and one mouth. And it has no feet. This is the color red. Okay, Massimo, listen. In your composition, there is one sentence. Hay una oración que has puesto, he is one. One mouth is he has got. He has got one, okay? That's correct. But has got is tiene. Okay? Let's see. Fabricio, please. Do you have a camera, Fabricio? He has Okay. Thank you, Massimo. Was good. Fabricio, show me in the camera the picture of the monster. Only the picture. Only the picture. More near, 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 more. Más cerca, más cerca, para poder ver todos, okay? Far, far, not, not too much. Okay, Fabricio, good. Now, please, can you read the description? Yes, teacher. This is my monster. His name is Trick uh, Head. He is tall and strong. He is three heads and he has legs. Uh, uh, finish? Fabricio, uh, you don't use the vocabulary clothes, t shirt, pants. No. You need to use the vocabulary, please, okay? The vocabulary, more sentence, okay? Correct your draw, your picture, correct? Add jeans, shoes, okay? And you can use more yes. sentence, okay? Let's okay. see, Leonardo. Leonardo, do you have a camera? Show us the picture of the monster in the camera. Only the picture, only the picture, just the picture. Leonardo, solo muéstrame en la cámara el dibujo que has hecho, nada más. Teacher, no imprimí mi, todavía no imprimo mi práctica. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Luciana. Okay, let's continue with Luciana. Luciana, show me that picture. Okay. Now, can you read the description, Luciana? Luciana, read the description. Yeah. This is a, my monster. His name is Miguel. He is short and young. He has got. Um, Got horn tree, one uh, one eye is on mouth and t-shirt and purple 
is an jeans and green is an and shows pink and blue he has got the seven and colorful is a jump and swim and clean okay luciana pay attention please luciana pay attention look at example in the in the zoom pay attention when we describe we need to write sentence listen this is one sentence period his t-shirt is red and yellow period you see luciana his jeans are blue period his shoes are white and blue period la manera de cómo debemos describir de es formando oraciones no puedo decir porque se ve raro así ven his t-shirt is red and yellow jeans green shoes blue uh, head one eyes three no estoy formando oraciones solo estoy diciendo zapato azul ojos tres camisa roja y no estoy describiendo bien me dejo entender luciana tienes que formar oraciones así como se te muestra en el ejemplo por cada prenda por cada prenda tienes que formar oración his t-shirt is red and yellow about the t-shirt his jeans are blue his shoes are white and blue okay listen it's important that you uh, that you make sentence that you make sentence and you can separate these ideas okay using and for example and is okay but he has got three eyes and two ears and a big mouth okay? a lo mucho hasta ahí no puedo usar siempre he has got three eyes and a mouth and a jeans and a t-shirt and shoes and ear and it's not it's not correct okay it's not correct we need to make sentence okay we need to write sentence okay leonardo can you read please your description can i i so show you Teacher, ¿puedo enseñarte mi imagen? Yes, it's okay. A picture, look at the picture. Good. Thank you. Now, Sir, ¿puedo leer? Now read Leonardo, okay? After Leonardo, okay, Christopher? After Leonardo. Leonardo, please read your description. This is my, this is my monster. His name is Paquita the Killer. He is tall and happy. He has got three eyes, two teeth, and big mouth. He has got two arms and two legs. He hasn't got any clothes. Bo, bo, but he is very smart. Okay, very good, Leonardo. Thank you, was good. Christopher, can you read please your monster? Yes. You have, uh, stop for Christopher. You have a camera? Prendo mi camera, profe? Yes, if you have camera, show us please in the camera. Yes. In the camera, please. Show us the picture of your monster. The picture, the picture, only the picture, only the picture. Good, thank you. That's good. Now read the description, okay? It's okay. 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 ¿Ya empiezo a leer? Yes. This is my monster. His name is Carl. He is small and old. He has got nine eyes and two horns and five mouths. He has got two wings and three legs. He has got brown fur 
and five heat. Okay, thank you, Christopher. Was good. Thank you. Good. Another student, please, who finish and wants to present. Nicole, did you finish? Uh, raise your hand, okay? There is a button. Raise your hand if you want to, if you finish your description. Vanessa. Vanessa, you have camera? Si no tienes camera, no hay problema. Solo leemos la descripción, okay? Uh, okay, you have camera. Good. Show me, please, in the camera. The monster, the picture, the picture of the monster. Yes. Good. Thank you. Was good. Now read the description. Okay, now read. Just read. This is my monster. She name is Flora. She she is short and young lady. She has got seven arms. She is got a skirt. She has got two eyes and a small mouth. She has got two hair. Okay. Okay, thank you, uh, Vanessa, was good. Rihanna, please, now. Rihanna, can you read the description? Yes, teacher. Show us the picture. Good. Thank you. Now the read the description, okay? This is my monster. His name is Paul. He he is small and young. He has got three three eyes and two arms and a small mouth. He has got mustache and freckles. He has got two arms and two legs. His jeans are light blue, light blue. His shoes are purple and black. Thank you, Rihanna. Was nice. Good. Thank you. Now, pay attention, please. Listen. Ya estamos a punto de terminar. Lo que vas a hacer es la, lo que has, el dibujo que has realizado y la descripción que has hecho. Le vas a tomar una foto y me lo vas a enviar por CNX. ¿Ya? En el link de esta clase, donde tú has entrado a buscar el link, en esa, en ese, en esa tarea está habilitada la opción de recepcionar trabajos. En esta, de esta clase. Entonces, ahí me envías, por favor, el, la composición que has hecho. ¿okay? Si lo has hecho en una imagen, en una hoja, le tomas una foto y me la envías. Si lo has hecho en Word, hay algunos alumnos que trabajan en Word, igual, el archivo de Word me lo envías. ¿Ok? Ok, profe. No, ahora préstame atención, por favor, esto es importante, préstame atención. Escúchame, en CNET, en la clase grabada de hoy día en la tarde, que se va a poner, te voy a adjuntar un link. Ese link es de una carpeta virtual. ¿Ya? ¿Cómo funciona esa carpeta virtual, teacher? Tú simplemente has, le, le, le vas a hacer clic en tu plataforma, en plataforma CNET y te va a abrir una ventana en Internet. ¿Ya? Esa ventana que se va a abrir es una ventana virtual. Perdón, esa es una carpeta virtual. En esta carpeta tú puedes guardar cualquier tipo de archivo. Y todos lo podemos ver. Todo el salón lo va a poder ver. ¿Ya? Yo también como el docente lo voy a poder ver. De nuevo, el link te va a venir en tu plataforma, tú le haces clic y te va a aparecer esta ventana de internet. Dice inglés cuarto B OneDrive. Es una carpeta. Entonces, escúchame por favor. Los alumnos que no hemos podido leer la descripción, necesito que me graben un audio. ¿Ya? Que me graben un audio. Puedes usar tu celular que es lo más sencillo, tiene la opción de grabar audio. Tú lees y que el audio te grabe nada más. Eso es todo. Ese archivo, ese archivo, me lo vas a pasar. Puedes pasármelo por Cianet, no hay ningún problema. ¿Ya? Puede ser un video, si tú deseas grabar un video, no hay ningún problema. Pero solo quiero que leas lo que has descrito. 
¿ya? Me lo pasas por CNET. Si no fuese posible por CNET, ¿Sí? si no fuese posible por CNET, te voy a adjuntar el link de esta carpeta y se graba así en la carpeta. O sea, obligatoriamente tenemos que hacer por ese, por esta app. O... Puede ser por CNET, como te digo, Fernanda. Por CNET me lo puedes enviarte en el audio, no hay ningún problema. Pero a veces CNET se sobrecarga, ¿no? A veces pasa que no carga el archivo. Entonces, haces clic en la carpeta virtual, te va a abrir esta, esta ventana, que es una carpeta virtual. Para copiar ahí archivos, simplemente jalas tú. Tienes el audio o el video, por ejemplo, y lo jalas. Clic, lo jalas aquí dentro y lo sueltas. Y automáticamente lo va a copiar, ¿ves? Carpeta virtual. Lo ha copiado. Puede ser Word, puede ser video, puede ser audio, cualquier tipo de archivo, tú lo jalas. Y lo va a copiar. Se va a guardar. También me lo puedes enviar de esa manera. Va a depender mucho del archivo, ¿no? Si pesa demasiado, va a demorar un poquito para cargar. ¿Profe, lo puede repetir? También les voy a adjuntar el, mi número de celular para que ahí me manden por WhatsApp. Que también es fácil. Vas, entras al WhatsApp, grabas un audio y listo, y me envías. Lo único que tienes que tener cuidado es en poner tu nombre nada más. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, este dice carpeta virtual, pero no dice a quién pertenece. Tienes que poner tu nombre en la carpeta. En la carpeta o en el archivo de audio que tú vas a enviar, debe poner ahí tu nombre, ¿no? ¿Quién está enviando? ¿Ya? Repito, me tienes que enviar el dibujo de tu monstruo, la descripción, una imagen de eso, una imagen por Cianet. Está habilitado para que puedas adjuntar un archivo, ¿ya? En el link de hoy día. ¿Profe, lo puedes repetir eh, eh, para entrar a la, la, la aplicación? Ya, repito, ¿ya? También en CNET te voy a poner el video tutorial, es sencillo. En internet, perdón, en tu CNET te voy a adjuntar un link, que es este link. Tú le haces clic en tu CNET. Y te va a abrir la carpeta virtual. ¿Ya? Está cargando en el mío, está cargando. Esta es la carpeta virtual. Dice OneDrive, archivos cuarto B. Una vez que esté abierto esta carpeta, vas a subir ahí tu audio o tu video. Para subirlo es sencillo. Buscas el archivo en tu computadora. Por ejemplo, este o este. Cualquier archivo y lo jalas nada más. Seleccionas, lo jalas sin soltar dentro y lo sueltas ahí. Y listo. Se va a copiar. ¿Ves? Link de carpetas virtuales. Entonces lo mismo vas a hacer con, tu, con el archivo de audio y video. Lo jalas nada más y lo sueltas. Y ya está guardado. ¿Ok? La otra manera es por Cianet, como siempre has enviado tus tareas. Y la otra es al WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Eso sería todo, ¿ok? En el CNN te voy a enviar un video instructivo, Profesor. un tutorial de cómo subir. Profesor. ¿Sí? ¿Puedo volver a repetir mi, mi, mi texto de mi monstruo, por favor? Yes, yes, it's ok. You can draw other monster, okay? Draw other monster and make another description. It's okay. Okay? No puedo hacer ahorita, profesor, por favor. No, we don't have time. It's time for the break, okay? We finish, please. Let's go.